Hi everyone. I'm so glad to be reading you this story this week. Um, I know that you are all doing that persuasive writing. We're starting that um, this week and then we're going to move on to um, doing more of that in the next couple of weeks. So I have a great book for you um, to share with you and it may give you some ideas on how to um, write a persuasive piece of writing. So while I'm reading it, and maybe after, you could talk to your parents about what kinds of things um, are in the book that make it a persuasive piece. What kind of descriptive words does the author use? How does the character in the book persuade um, his mom? And just kind of like think about the style of the writing and how you can take those ideas and maybe take some of those ideas and put them into your own writing for this week, okay? So this is called I Wanna Iguana and the author is Karen Kaufman Orloff and Dave Catro. It's published by a company called J.P. Putnam's Sons. So here we go. Mom, I know you don't think I should have Mikey Gulligan's baby iguana when he moves, but here's why I should. If I don't take it, he goes to Stinky, and Stinky's dog, Lurch, will eat it. You don't want that to happen, do you? Signed, your sensitive son, Alex. Dear Alex, I'm glad you're so compassionate, but I doubt that Stinky's mother will get lurch, will get lunch, get into the iguana's cage. Nice try, though. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, see, did you know that iguanas are really quiet and they're cute, too? I think they are much cuter than hamsters. Love, your adorable son, Alex. Dear Alex, tarantulas, tarantulas are quiet too, but I wouldn't want one as a pet. By the way, that iguana of Mikey's is uglier than Godzilla. Just thought I'd mention it. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, you would never even have to see the iguana. I'll keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. Plus, he's so small. I bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. Dear Alex, iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You won't have enough space in your whole room, much less on your dresser, with or without your trophies. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, it takes 15 years for an iguana to get that big. Mikey told me, I'll be married by then and probably living in my own house. Love, your smart and mature kid, Alex. Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six-foot-long reptile? Love, your concerned mother. Dear Mom, forget the girl. I need a friend now. This iguana can be the brother I've always wanted. Love, your lonely child, Alex. Dear Alex, you have a brother. Love, Mom. <clears throat> Dear Mom, I know I have a brother, but he's just a baby. What fun is that? 
If I had an iguana, I could teach it tricks and things. Ethan doesn't do tricks. He just burps and poops. Love, grossed out, Alex. Dear Alex, how do I know you're ready for a pet? Remember what happened when you took home the class fish? Love, Mom. Dear Mom, if I knew the fish was going to jump into the spaghetti sauce, I never would have taken the cover off the jar. Love, your son who has learned his lesson. P.S. Iguanas don't like spaghetti. Dear Alex, let's say I let you have the iguana on a trial basis. What exactly would you do to take care of it? Love, Mom. He's really pulling out all the stops to persuade her, isn't he? Coming up with all sorts of ideas. Dear Mom, I would feed him every day, he eats lettuce, and I would make sure he had enough water. And I would clean his cage when it got messy. Love, responsible Alex. P.S. What's a trial basis? Dear Alex, a trial basis means Dad and I see how well you take care of him for a week or two before we decide if you can have him forever. Remember, Stinky and Lurch are waiting. Love, Mom. P.S. If you clean his cage as well as you clean your room, you're in trouble. Dear Mom, I really, really, really tried to clean my room and the iguana's cage. Also, listen to this. I'll pay for the lettuce with my own allowance. I mean, how much can one baby iguana eat anyway? Love, Alex, the financial wizard. Are you sure you want to do this, Alex? Yes, Mom. I want an iguana. Please. Look at his face and his eyes. Dear Alex, look on your dresser. Love, Mom. And that's the end. Boys and girls, think about how Alex um, convinced his mom to get an iguana. He persuaded her using different strategies, the way that he worded things, um, his descriptive writing, things that he promised her. I want you to think about that when you do your persuasive writing in the next few weeks. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you soon. Bye.